It's an easy GMAT problem solving question. This one, the topic rates, speed, distance, time, focuses on concepts of computing the distance using the distance formula, which is speed times time and average speed. Classify this question as a 550 to 600 level question. Really an easy question. Jane covered a distance of 340 miles between city A and city B, taking a total of 5 hours. So total distance given, total time taken given. A part of the distance was covered at 60 miles per hour and the balance at 80 miles per hour. So she has travelled at two different speeds. What we need to find out is how many hours did she travel at 60 miles per hour. Let's get started. Given data, total distance travelled, total time taken. I'm going to assign one variable, only one variable. The variable is the time duration for which she has travelled at 60 miles per hour. So if you find the value for the variable, we have the answer to the question. Let's say that is equal to t hours. Let Jane travel t hours at 60 miles per hour. Total time taken is equal to 5 hours. A part of it was covered at 60 miles per hour. The balance at 80 miles per hour. We have assigned a variable for this part. So t hours she has travelled at 60 miles per hour. So how many hours would she have travelled at 80 miles per hour? The remaining which is 5 minus t. So 5 minus t hours is what she would travel at 80 miles per hour. So we know the time duration in terms of the variable t for both 60 miles per hour and 80 miles per hour. Distance travelled is equal to speed times time. So when she's travelling at 60 miles per hour, she would have travelled a distance of 60, which is the speed, into the time duration for which she has travelled, which is equal to t hours. Speed is in mile per hour, time is in hours, so distance covered will be in miles. Distance covered at 80 miles per hour, the same formula, speed times time. Speed right now is 80 miles per hour. Time taken to cover this distance is equal to 5 minus t. So distance travelled at 60 miles per hour is this. Distance travelled at 80 miles per hour is this. Sum of these two should be equal to the total distance that she has travelled, which is equal to 340 miles. One equation, one variable. Let's solve it. Find the value of t. That gives us the answer. So this is a 60 times t plus 80 times 5 is a 400 minus 80 times t which is equal to 80t. This is equal to 340. 60t minus 80t is a minus 20t. Let's take it to the right hand side. That will make it as plus 20t. Take the 340 to the left hand side. 400 minus 340 is equal to a 60. 20 times t equals 60. t is equal to 60 upon 20 which is equal to 3 hours. So she's travelled 3 hours at 60 miles per hour and the balance 2 hours at 80 miles per hour. One other way of solving this question is go from answer options. Trying to compute the number of hours travelled at 60 miles per hour, plug in each answer option and then the balance. If she has travelled 3 hours at 60 miles per hour, the balance 2 hours is what she would have travelled at 80 miles per hour. She would have, we would have done 60 times 3 plus 80 times 2 and checked out whether this added up to 340. 60 times 3 is a 180. 80 times 2 is a 160. So this adds up to 340. So this would have been the answer. So going from answer option is probably a very good way to solve this question. But if you did not do it, if you went about framing equation, this is the way to go over it. Let's complete this entire part in a printed form. Time for which she has travelled at 80 miles per hour is 5 minus t hours. Distance travelled at 60 miles per hour is equal to 60 the speed into the time taken which is t hours. Distance travelled at 80 miles per hour is the speed 80 into the time duration which is 5 minus t works out to 400 minus 80 t miles. Sum of these two is the total distance travelled. Sum of these two is equal to basically 400 minus 20 t. Essentially adding these two parts. Total distance we know is 340 miles. So we're going to be equating these two, solving for t, we get t is equal to 3 hours. Choice B is the answer to this question. These questions are actually, they'll take you about 30 to 45 seconds if you go from answer options. Some of these questions lend themselves beautifully to be back substituted. This is one such question. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizako and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.